What is going on, everyone? Samurai Solo and I am back with EA Sports UFC 3. Oh, my man hit us with the fake glove touch into the double leg takedown attempt. As you can see, I'm getting some fights in with Frankie Edgar. And I have lightweight and featherweight checked on whatever it lands on. And obviously, this first fight's a lightweight fight going up, going up against Habib. And obviously, Frankie, as we know, is great to use in this game. He has boxing combos level 5. Very, very crisp, sharp hands. Even though he's not the most powerful, they're just so fast you can really overwhelm opponents. Great wrestling, of course. Great top game. Some of the best cardio. But man, look at him at lightweight here. Look how tiny. Oh, he got that. He, he got it. He timed me. Well, he caught me coming forward. The now window shrunk by 50. I think it's 15% or something like that when you're coming forward and they shoot a double. Good job. But yeah, Frankie's really small at lightweight. I might be a little nervous when we face like a Nate Diaz or something. Up, oh, reverse that. Crucifix, this might be it. See if we can't block him. We can. Oh yeah, that's it. Unless you arm trap me, man. Or I badly, badly mess up. Which, as y'all have seen, I've done before. So, it's possible. Yeah, he's done. Did he give up? Yeah, he gave up. So the problem with him when when I got the sprawl position, if you're on, if you're in a sprawl position on top, you have to immediately transition or you will get blocked. You lose the grapple advantage within I think a couple of seconds, if that. It's very fast if you want to transition because if you don't, the person denying you will have all, like I had all day to block that. Uh, you have to do, if you're gonna wait and then try to transition, you have to do fakes or something because you're just not gonna get it. I had all day to block that transition. That's why I was able to flip him over or reverse him, get on top, and then crucifix. That was it. All right, guys. Be back with another one. All right. Korean zombie. And hopefully they end up uh, buffing Korean zombie in UFC 4. I'm sure he's going to, uh, you know, probably get a good buff. Because some of his stats just aren't that great in this game. has been quite a while since I've even used Zombie and by quite a while I mean probably like over a year. <laughs> Maybe I should give him a chance. See how he is. Dang, Zombie's showing some quick hands here too. Nice duck there. Man, look how fast Frankie's hands are. He can just overwhelm opponents. Oh, I, I, I went for that jumping crane. Oh, don't do that, man. Don't do that. You're not going to body spam me like that. Come on. <laughs> I went for that jumping crane kick once again, and he caught me with the head kick. Don't need to be doing silly stuff like that. I mean, it's fun to do that crane kick, but I wasn't really trying to set it up. I just saw him against the fence and threw it out there, and I paid for it. That's my wake-up call. Quit doing silly stuff. Set it up a little bit better. Oh, I went to pull him, but he delayed that last strike. Thought he was going to step in. But I didn't overextend it, if you notice. I didn't, like, run forward with it. He did a good job taking me down there. Oh, really? He got that? Dang. No, you're not getting that, man. And this guy does the same thing as the other player. Yeah, y'all can't do that, guys. I have all day and a half to block that if you don't immediately jump on it. And this is going to end the same exact way as the other player. Wait, hold on. Oh, he quit. <laughs> yeah, you just that's all. That's that simple. If you get into sprawl position, immediately transition or don't. And you kind of just have to either do fakes or just sit there and help try to block your opponent. That's another fight down, guys. Be back with another one. And we got Justin Gaethje here at lightweight. Look at that size, man. <laughs> Dude, that little rolling thunder kick. I'm kind of watching for those uh, leg kicks of Gaethje. He's not really throwing him right now. Connects there with the punch. 
There we go. I can pay for that body kick. Too bad Frankie can't throw a right hand off that head kick. He can do it if he throws one to the leg or to the body, but not to the head. That guy really likes that spinning and those elbows. Look at him, he's cheesing those elbows. <laughs> Making him pay throwing those body kicks. He's doing a great oh, I went to slip. Ate that hook. This guy's going to kill his stamina. And those elbows you can duck. You can pull back from them too, but you can also duck them. They kind of come out so quick, you got to be careful. Keep touching that body. What is this guy doing? Is he, I don't even know if he really knows what's going on here. He just keeps doing the same silly stuff. And it's where he just keeps running away with Gaethje. I, usually, I don't care how anyone chooses to play. But it's just a weird style, especially using Gaethje. There you go, nice check. I mean, this should be the opposite way. I should be constantly on my back foot. We haven't got a rock yet, but that's kind of expected with Edgar because he just doesn't have tons of power. Sometimes you got to hit guys a lot, which is fine. We'll just keep chipping away at him. And we can we can look. To, I think I might look to take him down here in the second round. I'm not really going to look for it now. He went for a takedown there. I'm not really going to look for it now because there's not much time left. But I think I'm going to take him down in the second round. Oh man, these players. We're gonna get him. We're gonna we're gonna look to take him down. Enough of this little business hanging on the outside perimeter, not doing too much. Yeah, that rolling thunder kick comes out quick, and then like you're worried about. Well, I was throwing a strike. There was the problem, but you're worried about the um, the leg kicks. The gauge, you know, if someone's throwing lots of leg kicks, then you're blocking low, and boom, you get hit with that rolling thunder. Oh, here we go with a little lag. Oh, he got cracked. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice defense. Now we pulled that elbow. Let's see if we can't get him down. Good. Nope, block that one. He moves to the Mount of Crucifix. This is ugly. There we go. There we go. We're getting these crucifix ones today, guys. I think this one's going to be it for him. Oh, yep. <laughs> these players are quitting today. Yeah, this guy was just, just weird on the feet, the way he was playing, hanging back, spamming those elbows, the spinning stuff. It's really weird style. But whatever. We ended up just taking him down and ending it. Got the win, guys. Going to keep this going. I'll be right back. Rafael Dos Anja should be a good one. Los Angeles is great in this game, very well rounded. Watch the shot, Joe. Oh, huge kick to the body. Oh, very nice. Oh, huge shot there, Lance Flush. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. 
opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue. There we go. Block that one. Land it straight right to the body. Oh, man. Catching him. Caught him with that crane kick. We're catching people with it. Got that flash drop on him, too. That's such a cool strike. It's a weird strike. And I wouldn't expect Frankie Edgar to have it, but he does. And it's you can catch guys off guard, I think, with it. Oh, block that one. I wasn't really looking to grapple with Frankie here. I was going to keep it on the feet. But since he initiated the grappling, let's go ahead and grapple a little bit. Look at this. He's out of it. Oh, no, I blocked that one. It's a lane. That, uh, he, he, that one he got. He got that one. But um, that full guard one, no, no, no. I timed that perfectly. Doesn't feel laggy, but it's obviously got to be some lane because I know I timed that beautifully. When he got up like that, he, he got it. I have to be honest about that one. He got it. Embarrassingly enough, what is this guy doing? Spamming those moving hooks. Oh, my hook missed. Got the body straight though. Ah, missed timing the head movement. It's not even missed timing. I think it gave me the minor pullback. I wanted the major. There we go. There we go. Got him rocked. Nope. Block that one. Block that again. All right, good round for us. That was definitely our round. Dropped him, rocked him. Did not a few transitions there at the end, so we should have the grapple advantage as well. Or not grapple advantage, the stamina advantage. I do need to stop letting him land so many body kicks or make him pay for him. There we go. Very good wrestling and is one of the toughest, most durable guys in the sport. Oh, well done. There, there we go. Start making them pay for those body kicks. Total strikes. Missed with that attempt. Well, he left his head open. Yep, I'll take that trade off. Oh, he slipped right into it. I can do it. Oh, that did it. I didn't think it was going to do it. Actually, it did. Nice. Got him. Oh, another person. What's up with these players quitting today, man? Dang, everyone's quitting. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to keep this going, guys. Keep this going while we're winning. I'll be back with another one. Brian T. City Ortega. Appreciate the glove touch. So, yeah, with T. City, obviously, like... I don't really want to be, I don't mind being on the ground, but I just don't really don't want to be in this guard. The two stage or three stage, whatever it is, triangle choke and then the rubber guard. Although Frankie B, if I get called the rubber guard, Frankie being a wrestler will probably have the stack guard escape as well, which some of the wrestlers have that. I really hate the rubber guard in this game. It's just not implemented well and like a good player it's, can really cheese that position if they if they're able to get it. Man, that body kick of Ortega feels like it comes out quick. Yep, got him rocked. Take our time here. No need to rush. Quick little combo. Back away. Three minutes and counting to go here in 
I saw that body kick coming. I was gonna interrupt. I was gonna eat the kick to land my shots, but it hit stunned me. He's about to go for that tie clinch. Probably trying to look for that guillotine of Ortega's. I think Ortega also has the flying triangle choke as well. I think that's from double unders or over under. There we go. Take our time. That was nice right there. Or I think it's got some pretty solid setup. I think his thing is he doesn't have a lot of power either. I might be wrong about that. There we go. Make him pay for that. Oh, that actually dropped him. Wow. I don't know how they get those head kicks from so short a range. If that would have been me throwing it, it would have went to the body instead. Oh my goodness, this place, I'm, I'm, I'm not even that good enough for these many players to be quitting. <laughs> uh, really not, man. It's wild how many people have quit today. Uh. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to do one more. We'll do one more fight. I'll be back with the last one. Bobby Green. Now, that is not somebody you see every day. Very interesting. There we go. Got him rocked. This guy's coming right out of this though. Like, man, you know, have y'all ever seen Bobby Green fight in real life? He's he's really uh light on his feet. He, he's constantly moving around. He tries to uh, use a lot of uh, head movement. He tries to be a little bit elusive and counter strike, but this guy's not fighting like that at all. He's coming right at us now. First look, he might have started that. Now he's just dang, I almost got him with that. He put that block up just in time. He's got to be careful though, just because Frankie's hands are so quick, as you can see here. And I don't know what Bobby Green's stats are, but I know they're probably not that great. This guy's bringing it to us, man. Give him that. Take that, take that. Just give him something to think about. He's showing it in his strikes up. He threw a three-piece there. Ooh. Oh, doubled that up. He's down. Yeah, I doubled up that straight lead uppercut in the second time. Man, I've dropped him. Go ahead and just pass. What's he doing? Did he give up? He was, wow. 
He was holding block, though, so I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Huh. The only thing I can think of is that he was trying to maybe do a submission. But not every fighter has a... The two submissions you can have from those positions is the arm bar and or the triangle choke. But not every fighter has those submissions. I don't know if Bobby Green has them. But I don't know if that's... I'm just speculating because it was weird. He was blocking. Huh. Well, I don't know what happened there, guys, but we'll take that one. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here, though. Stop while we're ahead, though. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Stay safe. Have a great day. Peace.